Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to four or five random horror games. Yeah. Uh, this first one is called Stay Live. This is kind of like a streaming horror game. Yeah. I've, I've seen a few of these pop up recently, but this one keeps getting recommended. Uh, everyone needs money, and you need it fast. As you explore an abandoned library, you'll need to put yourself at risk to gather enough viewers to turn your life around. Are you willing to risk your life for captivating content consumption? Yes, I am. <laughs> cool, let's do it. Uh, I'll have a link in the description for all the games I played today. Boop. Zero viewers. I'm leaving. <laughs> I, I love instant fail because you bail out endings. Love that. I love coward endings. Huge fan. All right, let's do that again. Can you get 10,000 viewers? Okay. All right, let's... Oh, is that a chat? Okay, hold on. If we're going to have a chat, let's have a chat, y'all. Uh, let's see, transform. Oh, yeah, so I'm sure people have rec or noticed by now, but I dyed my hair. I had a total... Oh, that looks weird on this side. Ugh. <laughs> I feel so weird being over here. Uh, I had a total, like, midlife crisis weekend this past weekend. Who's that old guy? Uh, I dyed my hair blonde and got a tattoo. The plan. I need to make money tonight if I want to keep living. Damn. It sounds dumb, but my only chance is my old streaming channel. And now I'm in this abandoned library where some people have supposedly gone missing. If I can get a view of something interesting up close, maybe I can get the attention I need. Ah, oh, people are joining. W stream, hit the gritty. <laughs> Scam. Go get a job. Yeah. Occasionally get people popping into streams like that. What was that squishy sound? Remember when I was 12? You'd signal me away from uh, the bus and drive, drive me behind a pizza place and do that. What? Whoa! I did not. Uh, is that good content? Ow! Uh, how do I get away from it? Ow! No! No! Ah. Is that good content? <laughs> Devoured and secreted? Homie shit me out. All right. Uh, so yeah, I probably need to find books, like spooky, spooky books. There we go. And then he popped up. Over there somewhere. Are you a spooky book? Oh. Is there crouching? Like, how do I avoid the dude? My viewership is plummeting. What the fuck? Alright, gotta get a view of the boy. Otherwise, this is a this is an L stream. Really fell off. I think if I saw somebody streaming like an abandoned library with monsters in it, I don't think I would leave. Pretty sure I would stick around. Sick. Oh, here's another one.
There he is. I'm just gonna stare at him. Make my viewers go up. Yes, yes. This doesn't look safe. Ja 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 ja. What the? What the? Some of these reactions actually do remind me of uh, how people act in chat. Pile of shit. Love it. Oh, he's up there. Hello. Uh, fuck. I think he's coming down here. Let's bail, bail, bail. Uh, Abby has subscribed for eight months. All those noises freak me out. <laughs> Actually put me in, like, my streaming mode. <laughs> Love that. What kind of art style is this? Like, the sun and moon thing? And you don't seem to understand. Is he stuck? You idiot. Haha. -ha. Make my viewership grow. Yes, perfect. Is that a ghost? Are you safe? Are you faking it? You're faking this, aren't you? Freaky. Behind you? You liar. Yeah, so if I just look at him, my viewership, like, skyrockets. Well, shit. I found the secret to instant success, y'all. This is... It's working. I mean, if I can just sit here and get to 10,000... Then let's do it. It's like the closer I get. Super entertaining. <laughs> Here we go. We're so close. Come on. Don't eat me. I'm gonna. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. Uh what? Uh, I'm out! I'm out! No! I was so close! I was so close! <sighs> Alright, let's try again. Something hit me, and it freaked me out, so I ran. Okay, so I'm back up to 8,000 something. What? Something hit me again. My screen keeps shaking. Ah! Ah! I think, yeah, I think now that I'm over 10,000 viewers, the place gets haunted. So I'm getting out of here. Oh, the books are flying around. All right. Bye. Later. Goodbye. Did I do it? Quota reached. Good. I can pay my rent. Great. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the subs. God. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, that was, that was quick and easy. Now that I, once I figured out if I just stare at it from really far away, I could get my, my viewership up. Man, that's a lot of viewers too. Uh, yeah, it got a lot easier once I figured that out. Well, cool. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Okay, and this one's called Fervent. This is by Apishbox or Apishbox. 
<laughs> uh, I played a few of their games, actually. Uh, yeah, this one is a short VHS-style horror game where you step into the shoes of a paranormal investigator. As you venture into the eerie, fervent campsite, you'll uncover mysterious obelisks with cryptic symbols, abandoned white tents, and an unsettling ritual book. Yeah, um, I, by them, I have played Gimmick, uh, Perfect Spot, Lamp Post, Incoherence, uh, Stalls of the Dead. I think I played Other Side. Yeah, I played quite a few of their games. Cool. Let's do it. Boop. There's a there's kind of a theme with these today. Tape contains raw footage from the fervent campsite, Palm City State. The camera with the tape was found near the campsite by a local resident who claims that a paranormal investigator was spotted near that area. The tape contains unexplained phenomena and chilling evidence of the supernatural activity. Viewer discretion is highly advised. Footage recorded by Ryan Goodwin. Status missing. Press E to view. Okay. And can I leave? Damn it. Uh, takes place in... May 2006. Uh, Fervent campsite administration letter, March 5th, 2006. Over the past few weeks, there have been a series of unsettling occurrences at the campsite. Strange symbols have been found etched into trees and rocks, and unusual structures resembling obelisks <laughs> have appeared without explanation. Our efforts to investigate these phenomena have been inconclusive, and the presence of these anomalies has only grown more pronounced additionally. Several campers have reported experiencing disturbing visions and hearing eerie sounds emanating from the woods at night. These accounts combined with the discovery of an enigmatic ritual book in one of the abandoned white tents have raised significant concerns about the safety of the campsite environment. Well. Perhaps they shouldn't camp here, stupid. Oh, here's an obelisk. It's made like the lore stones from uh, uh, Hellblade. Oh, okay. I hear the white tents. So one of these has a ritual book for me. Hello? Somebody left their ugly moldy doll here ah there's another one more obelisks so am I searching for the tent with the book in it Fuck you doing? Uh, there's a grave here. That's not a grave. It's a little stand for a book. That's probably where the ritual book goes once I find it. Where is the ritual book? Give it to me. Nope. Uh, ritual, to break the curse of the trapped souls. If you're reading this, it means that you have found the pickaxe hidden by us. Did I? Where? Uh, oh, by us survivors. Long time ago, we were part of the group dedicated to bring peace to this cursed campsite. People kept disappearing, and we had to act. During our ceremony, something went wrong, and the ritual summoned the fervent ghoul. Ooh, <laughs> ghoul. A human-like creature, which will stop at nothing to get you. Remember to find the book under the rock. A special rock. Different from the others. Okay. Bring the book to the lectern afterwards. You must light all the candles near the tents and free the trapped souls. The lighter will appear in front of you. Use it. Okay. We believe that it was, or that it is the only way to defeat the ghoul. Okay. Okay, so I got... The pickaxe.
So there's a special rock somewhere. Not like all the other rocks. That one seems like all the other rocks. Uh. What? Hello? The book said it'd be like a human like creature. Why is. This deer is just staring at me. Is he protecting the book? Does he even know how to read? He's gonna... Fuck me up with those antlers. What? <laughs> what am I doing up here? What am I doing up here? Why is... What? <laughs> what? Love that. Oh, there we go. I found the book. I really... Like, we can go see what the deer does. Hi. Oh. Okay. See ya. Okay, bonk. Okay, now we light all the candles to free the souls. Okay, lit. Lit. Oh, there it is. Hi! He's just walking at me. It follows. More like it swallows. I wonder if it gets faster as I light the candles. No? Just chilling. Fuck. Oh, end of the footage. Okay. Shit. That scared me. Uh... Let's see what happens if it gets me. Okay. Boop. Grab the lighter. Now, where is he at? Where are you at? Get a good look at him. Hey, buddy. Thumbnail. Oh. You're breaking my camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. Uh, this one's called Pinko's Linko's School. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Uh, Pinko Linko's School is a game I dug up not too long ago when I was visiting my grandparents. I uh, found it while searching for some old tennis equipment in their storage. The box indicated that it was made in 1998, and yes, you can truly see that it was from the era. The first Doom game also came out in 1998, so it must have been some kind of kids learning toy Doom clone. Love that. Uh, anyway, I got it running and managed to rip the files, so here they are. Uh, See, so yeah, it's like it plays itself off as like a cursed old school game. Cool. Welcome to Pinko Linko's School. WSD and E. Uh, pause the game with the escape key. Got it. Uh, help a total of five classmates. Got it. Okay, so I can't look up and down, so it really is like Doom. What's up, creeps? You dead-eyed fuckers. I love this music. Hey! Hey, hey! Hi there! Hi. 
Hi there. So this one actually doesn't match the uh, other games that I picked out in terms of uh, like a, a theme for the video. Hi there. All right. Oh, can I leave? Damn. Hey, hey. Who needs help? Everybody's so friendly, but nobody needs help. Ugh. There's so many kids. Here's library. Remember to be quiet. Which one of you little shits needs help? Hi. Like, is it, are they gonna have like an exclamation mark or something above their head? Here's a math classroom. Okay. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many kids. There's so many kids. Okay, this is how we know. Got it. This can't be right. Oh, hello. I'm having a hard time solving these math problems. Do you think you can help me? Sure. Yeah, three. Oh, it was, uh, I read it so quickly I didn't even, it was one plus two. If you have one apple and somebody gives you two apples, how many apples do you have? Okay. If you have five bananas and you give Ted three bananas, how many bananas do you have? Two. Okay. Uh, if you have four oranges and you buy two more, but then give one to Alice, how many oranges do you have? Nope. Five. Wow, you did it. Thanks so much. I love the music in this. Hello. I forgot my crayons in the library, but I can't go get them because Miss Johnson will give me detention if I leave again. Can you go get them for me? Sure. Are you Miss Johnson? Johnson? Hello. How about you stop being a dick? Let him get his crayons. This goes back out to the hall. Crayons, hello. Hi there. This is the library, right? Here we go. Slayola. Love that. Alright, here we go. Yes, these are my crayons. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Love you. Hello. I think I'm the best kid in school if, at football. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> I've hit every single hole except for the top left one. If you can hit all of them, I will crown you as the best kid in football. Okay. Oh no. Goal. This reminds me of that ring toss game I played. So I got the one that he couldn't do. All right, I did it. Oh man, you are really skilled. You are for sure the best at football. Hello. Hello, I'm having a hard time understanding digital clocks. Do you think you can help me understand them? Sure. What time is this? It is five o'clock. Yeah, hour hand, minute hand. Correct. Uh, this one is 1.30. This one is 10.15. Oh, is that... Uh, so that's how it is. Thank you very much. Idiot. <laughs> Kids are stupid. You can't go in there. That's the teacher's room.
tell me what I can and cannot do. All right, so there's one more, one more of these dead-eyed kids that needs help. Let's go find them. So we went into the whatever class that is, geography. Here's math. Oh, there we go. I love his shirt. Oh man, I left my lunchbox here just before the break, but someone must have took it by accident. Can you help me find it? Sure. Um, I guess let's go to the cafeteria. That's the best place to look, right? Bomp, 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 bomp. Do you have it? Do you have it? I found it. Yoink. I took me forever. I did not see that thing. All right, here you go. School's over. Time to leave. Oh, yes. Thank you. Now I have something to eat more than just my apple. Okay. So apparently there's jumping. Weird. Congratulations. You have uh, helped a total of five classmates, and that means that you have also completed Pinko's Linko's school. You can claim your pri price prize from the U1 folder in Pinko Linko's game folder. If you find this hard to understand, uh, feel free to ask your parent or guardian for help. Oh, sweet. Okay, so let's... Nope, wrong button. Boop. U1. My diploma. Okay. Loving bear. Uh-huh. What? Yeah, there's loving bear, diploma. Teacher's pet. The better place. So you can actually get into the teacher's classroom thing somehow. Wall dot wall door. Okay. This is weird. I love it whenever games uh like start changing the the folders and file structure. Make you like go investigate. Now, now I just need to figure out what the next step is. Okay, so... So there's a wall door? Somewhere? Bump, bump. Bump, bump. Bump, bump. <gasps> I did it! I found it. Secrets. What? <laughs> what? Okay, let's go back in. Uh, okay. So there's also like the bear thing? I don't know how in... It seemed like that was outside of one of the classrooms. Let's go take a look. Bomp, bomp. Bomp, bomp. Oh. She's gone. Bully?
Okay, so I, I found the the secret door. I got into the teacher's room. So you find the noose. Oh fuck. Oh no. All the plants are dead. Great. I'm going to school in Silent Hill. Did you know that the the school in Silent Hill 1 is based off the school in Kindergarten Cop? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Do you want me to... I'll do it. Isn't that cool or something? Kind of. No one will miss you. Eh, yeah, no. Um, boop. Uh -huh. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. What? So that's the noose. So you find the bear in the grave. Oh no. Yeah, there's a kid crying, a spooky face, somebody hanging, and then somebody surrounded by people. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's... Oh. I walk... <laughs> what? Okay, I'll just phase the reality again. That's cool. Hello? Yeah, this is the bully. Or this is where I got called a bully. Hi. Range of issue at Did it make another folder? Because I don't I don't put it there. Oh. So I load the game back up. Because I I looked around the in the Windows folders. And nothing changed there. Then I realized it said Windows 32X. That doesn't that doesn't exist. So I loaded up just the normal game again. Uh and now it's just like out in the forest. Weird. I'm not sure if there's like a direction I'm supposed to be heading. I figure it'll eventually appear in front of me or around me. Also, how's it going, everybody? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing good. Darn good. Uh, I really enjoyed Still Wakes the Deep. I I really loved that game. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, if you haven't checked that series out yet, you should. Unless you're waiting to play it yourself. In which case, I totally understand. 
This is like a big open area. Huh. But yeah, I think that was like the last big horror game. Oh. Oh, it's the kids! I found you! Regret. Did y'all bully a kid to death? I do not want this. This is not how it was supposed to go. And there's like notes and stuff everywhere. It's my fault. I never thought of this outcome. There we go. Just sitting there dancing next to a grave. <laughs> is is that it? It seems like it just put me back in the normal game. Yeah, there's that hidden room. I wonder if the normal game just loops now. Can't go outside there. Yeah, hold on. Let me poke around at this for a second. I want to see if that was it. Okay, yeah. Uh, just went and looked up some other videos on this and yeah it just loops so that was it that was that was weird that was good that was very good that was very good i thought something like really awful and gruesome was going to happen to these kids yeah anyways uh cool let's go on to the next one okay and this one's called the woods have horns yeah i'm actually wearing a a goat as well Cute. Uh, let's see. Ending is just one with a winky face. Hmm. We'll see about that. Uh, welcome to Camp Shelter Lake. Enjoy a beautiful view. Take a walk on the woods. And don't be brutally mauled by the legendary goat man. Uh, do you have what it takes to survive this pixel or gore fest? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, boop. I'm already thinking like, uh-oh, do I have to worry about copyright? I've been getting slammed and jammed by the YouTube copyright system lately. Love. I really hope I don't have to mute this. I'll replace it with something if I have to, but this is really good. I'm, a, I'm such a big slut for synth. Your friends leave tomorrow. That's when your work begins. The other half of the camp is ready, so just stick around here. In about two weeks, we open. Kind of remote place, huh? <laughs> Sorry, Jonathan, but you have you heard about the local legends? Of course, Billy. Kids and rich part partners the, uh, love these kinds of things. Ah, oh, dude. I love the pixel art. Chill out. Uncle Merle will, sa will save your ass. I love the pixel art. <laughs> love the pixel art. Right. Time to get to work, boys. Who... <gasps> Starts the horror stories. Merle, bring another beer, will ya? I hid these in the cafeteria. Sure. Is that me? Do I get to play as Merle? 
Oh, I do. Maybe. <gasps> okay. So we have this way, and then Z. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Love that. Okay. Let's start looking around. I love pixel art games. Uh, let me adjust something really quick. Let's do filters. Let's turn the gamma down. All right. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, how do I actually get into the buildings? So I know how to run. E, enter, up, down. Okay, hey everybody. Uh, I reloaded. Huh, somebody was in there. Yeah, well let me in here. So let's head back to the main cabin. What a horrible story. Wow. You didn't even wait for me? But do you want to listen to something real? That's it. I'm already too scared, and I'm going to go to the bathroom. So, what happened to you? Not to me, but my grandpa. The old timer is not religious, and he told me this after half a bottle of scotch. So he worked as a cop around here for decades. He dealt with any kind of freak you can imagine. But there is a case that he doesn't forget to this day. Two couples went camping on this exact same lake 20 years ago. The man went missing, and the girls went back to town and called the police. As you imagine, my grandpa was dispatched to search the area. Or to the search? I don't know where that... I filled in the rest of the sentence in my head. <laughs> He, a recruit, and a forest ranger called Mickey found the missing men after an hour. Here it comes. One of them was in shock, being carried by the other guy. But here's the thing. Since one of them was okay, my grandpa checked the wounded guy. The man couldn't talk, was shaking, bulging eyes. You got it? And then my grandpa realized that this dude wasn't just glazing at nothing. He was actually conscious and alert, never taking off the gaze on his friend. Oh shit! The moment my grandpa reached for his gun, the other guy ran away. The recruit stayed there with the wounded, while Grandpa and Mickey chased the guy. However, after a moment, the fugitive started to groan. After that, the guy crouched and started to run on his hands too, like mimicking a dog. What a batshit crazy story! The craziest part is that after this, the dude was so fast that he disappeared into the woods. As if that was his natural posture, and he wasn't used to actually walking in two legs. Well, the police sent the news to the girls and came back with the search team. The dogs couldn't smell shit, so they came back to the chase tracks. The track started with shoe prints, then also followed by hand prints. And suddenly it changed to goat tracks. Like a bipedal goat, to be specific. Dude! <laughs> Fuck you, Merle. Crap. Ah, Sally! I think there's someone in the bathroom. Let's check. Is there a goat man in here? Oh, shit! <laughs> Love it. What happened? Why was I on the ground? Did I pass out? Like... Or was I beaten up by the goat man? Uh... Okay, I gotta... Whoa! What? Oh, wow. I'm already... 
beat up. Okay, so I have to X to get to the next screen. Got it. Oh my, oh my god. My skin is gone. I am... I... Here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna let him get me. I wanna restart. There you go. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That is... Indeed, pretty gory. Alright. Uh... Let's jump in. Oh my god. Alright. I'm not gonna run because the goat man could show up at any second. Oh, okay. I'm already at cabin one. <gasps> whap, 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 whap. Gotta beat him up. Whap, whap, whap. Whap, whap. Whap, 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 whap. I love that. Bring it, goat boy. Yeah, like... Oh. Get knocked out. Home run. What happened here? Who was... Who was that? One of my friends, obviously, but... Dang. Must have been the one that went to the bathroom with Sally. Ugh. Run! Ah! Oh my god, he's so fast! Okay, let's try going back this way again. He was fast. I guess goats are fast. I don't know why I'm surprised. Okay. So I guess I'm trying to get to another cabin to get a weapon. I could really use like a health kit. Buddy! No! Ow! Oh my god. This is so hard. Ah! Alright, try again. I'll cut to the next thing. This goat man won't fuck off. So he gets faster as the rounds, as the days, nights. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> as it progresses. So right now I can actually manage to outrun him. God, I cannot get past this screen. God! Oh, because also, there was no dead body there, so this was a, actually a different screen. He just wants a hug. Look at him. Where my hug at? Oh my god. I can either like let him hit me and try to get past him or hope that he just won't show up. Like wonder if it's like a percentile chance of him showing up or what? What? Here we go. Okay, so there's cabin one. 
Um. Oh, and I can't run with a weapon. Interesting. Wap, 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 wap. Oh yeah, boy. Bop. Okay, so he disappears. Okay. Ooh, I actually got past the screen. No! He's so fast now! Okay, nope. Oh. So I can't even get past him. Oh my, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Alright, so I've been trying this a few different times. The second round is just so hard. Like this round, I can actually like get away. I just have to get lucky and find the cabin before, I don't know, before he gets me. And it can also be on this, on this screen. Because each time you change screens, it puts you in a different part of the woods. So I just got to get lucky and find the cabin. The running animations is in this is so cute. And also, uh, just walking versus running doesn't matter in terms of like him finding me. Like, he just shows up. I just gotta get lucky. It's the next part that is really tricky. God damn. Homie just won't give up. God damn. Come on. Oh my god. You son of a bitch. Here we go. Now we just gotta find him and give him the whack. And then we gotta somehow survive the next part where he's a lot faster. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. Okay. Now this part is the one where I'm like, how do I do this? He's like, oh my god, he's fast. Like, he's he has a bloody head, too. I just realized that. Like, look, he's faster. He is slightly faster than me. <gasps> oh my god, I've never gotten this far. Okay, so I think he just runs into it? Oh, I'm stoked. third round. No! He's going to be so fast. Oh. Oh, my friends again. No! My god, no! Ow! Oh no! There's my friend that flipped me off. Oh no! Oh come on! It. 
It put me behind him. Whenever I was running forward, it made me hit him again. I'm gonna try that one more time. Last time. Last time. Okay. Got the pitchfork again. So I learned an easy method. If I see a body like this, turn around. Go to a different screen. Oh my god. There you go. That's only when I'm trying to get the weapons. <clears throat> Bam! Okay. Turn around. No. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Ow. Here we go. Cabin three. Never got this. Oh. Groovy. I'm gonna skin his ass raw. Because now I pack a chainsaw. Love that. What? It acted like it was gonna let me leave. Or did I, did I win? I think I won. The whole county is shocked by the Camp Shelter Lake Massacre. Are they gonna blame it on me? Because I, I was bloody carrying a chainsaw, probably screaming. Uh, this is by far the worst crime of the year, 1990, the year 1996, and maybe of the decade. The camp owner and six of his young employees were found brutally murdered. The only survivor, Merle Harper, was found walking on the road, carrying a chainsaw and a trance-like state. Deemed as a lunatic and main suspect, it was proven that Merle is actually innocent. That is because the fingerprints or fingertips found on victims are incompatible with Merle. Also regarding the blood on the chainsaw, part of the residue is his own blood. Okay. Uh, but there is also blood from a creature which, as the DNA tests show, is 87% human and 13% goat. <laughs> the media, the scientists, and uh, yeah, the people and the police are baffled. Nobody knows what to believe. Merle himself refuses every interview. His only public statement is to be careful in this region. Because the woods have horns. Oh, I love that. That was hard. That was really hard. Oh cool, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. I spent way too much time on the school game and this one. But yeah. Cool. What'd y'all think? Leave a comment, leave a like, really helps. And yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.